What's up YouTube? This is Nicodemus from Droid Cheats again and in this video I'm going to show you how to root and unlock your Nexus 7 that is the second generation Nexus 7 or the 2013 version of the Nexus 7. First thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and it will take you to Wugfresh's website and as you can see right here this is the easiest way to do this stuff he has got a wonderful toolkit um, if you have any other Nexus devices you can look through here and see if they are supported pretty much I think all of the Nexus devices are supported by this toolkit so you just need to scroll down right here and click on the link to download this is a GUI IM download so it's possible that it could be a long time to download the file sometimes if it seems like it's taking a really long time to download I would suggest canceling the download and trying it again. And there we go. It popped up. Now it's starting to download. It's not too big of a file, so it shouldn't take that long anyway. As you can see, it's only 64.7 megabytes. And it'll take about two minutes on my speed, which I have about a 25 megabit download speed. Okay, now the file's finished downloading. That actually took probably about five minutes. I'm going to click on this little icon to go to the folder where it is. And I have an old version right here, and here is the newest version, 1.7.1. .1. So I'm going to open it. I'm going to run it as administrator. Windows didn't want that to start. <laughs> oh. I have, if you have Windows 8, you're going to see this pop up. Windows Smart Screen prevented it from running, so click on More Info, and then you can click on Run Anyway. So we're going to let it install where it wants to install, the default. Now, as soon as you install it, it starts running. Close this window out. We can actually close this out. Close our tabs. Okay, it says if you don't know your model number, check. Well, we know we have the Nexus 7 version 2 and mine is the Wi-Fi version. I don't think any uh, 3 or 4G versions are out yet. But make sure it's Nexus 7 version 2 Wi-Fi. The Android build we are currently on is Android 4.3, the latest one, which is JSS 15J. Um, it started off on JWR 6.6 V, and then it updated these two updates automatically once I ran when I ran it for the first time. <clears throat> now I do not have the device plugged in at the moment. It says how to enable USB debugging on your device. Unhide the developer options in the main settings menu under settings about phone or tablet and tap build number seven times and now your developer go back check USB debugging so let's do that right now. Over here on the device which by the way I don't know what you guys think but I am not a fan of how these buttons feel. They are kind of a pain in my opinion to work but it is what it is so anyway let's go into the settings all the way down here about tablet build number JSS15J tap it seven times it says you are now a developer at the bottom you click back and now you have developer options open up your developer options and make sure you check USB debugging It'll say blah, 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 let you know what it's going to do, click OK. All right, that is step one on your tablet. All right, now I'm going to plug in the device. It says connected as media device, USB debugging connected. So back on the computer, we'll click OK. And exit that message and down here at the bottom and click on this and what it's doing is installing the drivers 
It says you currently have no modified boot image for your build, so we need that. Click OK. And this is that's what makes this program so useful, especially for new users who want to root their devices and things, is because he has put everything there for you. It's I mean, point and click basically is all you have to do. So it goes through and finds files that you're going to need to do everything and will download them for you. I don't have the TWRP recovery or twerp recovery if you want to call it that. So we need to download that file also. So just click OK. And as you can see during this time, <clears throat> and as you can see during this time it still says installing device. Please wait while setup installs the necessary files in your system. Up here it says tap to choose what happens with this device. It knows it's the Nexus 7 so that's good. When I plug it in I can select what I want it to do and I will click on take no action. Now obviously that's just for Windows 8. It'll be different on Windows 7. All the files are up to date it says. Okay. Now we need to go to make sure that the USB, or I'm sorry, make sure the ADB drivers are installed properly as well. So I just, I clicked on Universal Drivers. We're going to go with that one. It says this solution utilizes the Universal ADB Driver Installer developed by Cush. It's the easiest and most effective way. Okay, let's try it. Please disconnect your Android before installing. Gotcha. So disconnected my device let it install the ADB driver it says it's completed now I'm going to plug it back in Now, as you can look here on the on the tablet, it pops up and says allow USB debugging. RSA key fingerprint, blah, 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 blah. Check, always allow from this computer, and click OK. So, now I'm going to go back here and click on full driver test. This is on step three. It says device connected. Rebooting into bootloader mode, and as you can see on the tablet here, it just rebooted it into bootloader mode. Which is exactly what we wanted to see. So it's checking things and now it's rebooting the device once more. Okay, now before you unlock your device and root your device, depending on what you have on there, you may have just got it. Um, you may want to go and do a backup. And when you click on backup, you can create an Android backup file including your system apps and shared data. You can, you can back up just single apps, back up your virtual SD card, now you can make full backups if you already have your custom recovery. We don't have a custom recovery in yet. So, see here you can back up your text messages, call logs, contacts, network configuration. So you can back up tons of stuff. The only thing you can't do right now is back up your custom recovery. So, I suggest if you'd like to, to go ahead and make a backup file. I'm not going to show you step by step on how to do that. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can just click on this and this and then click on create backup. So Anyway, back to here. The next thing we're going to do is unlock the device. This script will unlock your device enabling you to root it. But in doing so, it will completely wipe all of your apps and data on the system. So just letting you know that's going to happen before you unlock it. So click OK if you're ready to continue. Click Cancel if you're not. I'm ready. Now we have to go in bootloader mode first. We're already connected using USB debugging so we can go ahead and just click Yes and it will automatically put us in bootloader mode. It 
It's rebooting in bootloader mode as you can see over on the tablet here. Right here at the bottom it says lock state locked. When we're done here it'll say lock state unlocked. Unlock bootloader, yes. Oh, sorry. I'm so used to a touch screen. You have to use your volume up control and then hit the power button to select. Well, there we go. Very simple. And it shows right here as it's rebooting, the padlock was unlocked. A lot of people have been a lot of people have been reporting problems with their new Nexus 7 touchscreen issues, um, things like that. And leave them a comment and let me know if you've been having any issues with yours. I have not had I have not noticed any touchscreen issues yet. I've had it for about two weeks, and everything seems to be fine so far. There is one issue that I have, and that is this corner right here see it seems to want to pop up which this whole thing pop the whole back will pop off fairly easily um, so if there was ever a reason to get in there and do some work to it it wouldn't be that hard to do but I don't like the fact that it pops up that easily so I don't know now that did take, well, what, about three minutes or so for it to finally boot all the way back up. Now, we have to go through this real quick, the, you know, your basic setup of the device. After this, we need to go back into the settings and enable USB debugging again. We're going to say, no, we don't have an account right now, not now. Skip everything here. Go to settings, about tablet, build number seven times. Okay, and back. Go to developer options, USB debugging. Make sure it's checked. Click OK. Allow USB debugging. Make sure you check always allow from this computer and click OK. Okay, now we're all set back up on the tablet to be able to do what we need to do. And the next step over here, click OK to finish this script. Okay, we can close the driver configuration guide. And the next thing we want to do is root the device. And we're going to check this box here because we're going to root it and add our custom recovery. So just check that. Or click that. You need to be unlocked for this to work. So make sure you unlock it first. And click OK. As you can see over on the device, it's going to reboot it back into bootloader mode. See right here it says lock state unlock now. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the file that is used for the boot image on the device, the stock one, and it's going to replace it with a custom one that will allow you to um, manipulate the device from the custom recovery. I only have 87% battery if you can see that, but it is highly recommended to have your device fully charged. And the reason for that is you do not want to have your device lose power in the middle of downloading a boot image or a recovery rooting the device, anything like that. You could permanently brick your device if something like that were to happen. This here is a screen for your reco uh, custom recovery. It boots it up temporarily and uses it to root the device. Um, this should be the last time it reboots. After it reboots here, we should be fully unlocked, which we already were, and rooted. And have our custom recovery. 
Now it says right here in this window to finish the process, make sure you, to make sure you're successfully rooted, open Super SU, Super SU, and it may prompt you. Sorry about that. Let me get this off of here. And it may prompt you to update the binaries. So let's do that. Go to our apps, and we should have an app called Super SU right here. Stay up to date with developments. Follow me on Twitter or Google+. I'll say no thanks for now, but I already do follow him. No apps configured. So it, when you open it, when you open up the program, it checks the internet to see if there's an update for it. But there isn't one, it seems. So now we're going to open up BusyBox right here, and we're going to grant it permission and if we're granting it permission we are rooted smart install is loading you may go ahead and install busybox using the normal install method or wait for smart install to finish loading okay now it says it recommends you put it in X bin. So right here where it says system bin, click on that and system X bin. It suggests that. So let's install smart install or regular install. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do smart install because it says there's some risk and if there's a problem you'll get to see it on my device. It says it was successful and we'll be notified whenever a new version needs to be installed. Okay, so we can back out of that. And we are fully rooted now. Okay, so that's it. Back over here, we'll close this. And we are fully rooted, fully unlocked. If something happens, uh, <clears throat> well, from here, you'll be able to install custom ROMs and things like that. I'll be making some videos. Uh, there's lots of different ROMs already available for the new Nexus 7. So I'll be making some videos coming up shortly of how to install the different ROMs and show you what they look like. So that's it. I hope you were able to, I hope this helped you out and you were able to get your Nexus 7 second generation rooted and unlocked. I appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you later.